Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Sosmenia, True Nerd, and welcome back to James Bond 007 Nightfire, the grand finale. So, we've made it onto the evil, villainous Drake's Island, that bastard who wanted to make sure America didn't have a massive nuclear space platform. What a terrible person he is. Let's blow up his defense system so the island can actually be attacked then. And looks like first up we're going to have some more turreting. Because that was a massive gun on top of that car. Oh no, wait, I am actually driving. Fine, alright. Missiles, machine guns. Alright, missiles and machine guns. Fine. I don't know where this car came from, by the way. This is a different car from the one we've got yet. It's fitted out with, like, you know, Q missiles and turrets and whatnot. Okay, I've just reached a fence and it says I need to download the code from the compound. I don't know what compound. I thought I'd just driven in pretty much a straight line here, but alright, let's go find a compound. Okay, there was a branching path, but I just kind of went down one of them at random because there was no indication which I ought to actually go to. Alright, got a couple of cars, couple of things. Better be, I've saved missiles so far. Luckily, the missile thing does actually point out what I need to aim at. Oh, that was a helicopter. Hello, helicopter. And you are a something. Oh, you're a bit tough. Right, okay, you might be a sentinel. Well, loading screen warned me these things might be tough. So, careful of sentinels. Downloading access code. Downloaded. Beautiful. So I've got a little dish that just pops out of the top. Where did this car come from? Back the way we came, but this time I'm guessing the road up to that uh, little gate that we passed earlier is going to be much more crowded than it was the last time we were here. Yep, I saw- oh, I saw him for a second there. Screw you, let's just blow up the bridge. Get your corpse out of the road. Now I should be able to pass straight by this. Transmitting access code. Code accepted. Code accepted, but thingy over there. Let's hope this missile gets it. I've got plenty of missiles, but I've got literally no health left. Oh, come on, armor. I need some more. I don't know what the trick to the sentinels is, because those things hit hard. There's not like, I don't have like a shield or anything, so I'm not really sure what I would do tactically. I guess I could like keep my distance and back off and just find missiles around the corner, which does seem to mostly work. Okay, now what have we got around the corner here? We got something, but the, I can't move the camera around the corner. The C-stick now is just for reverse. And... Oh, okay. Oh! Ah, uh, yeah, we're done. Right, let's try that again, but be more careful with the Sentinels. You see, from the license plate security, I'm guessing we just, like, stole this thing? But if we just stole this thing, then that means all the enemies have missiles too. But they never use them. We're the only ones who bother to use our missiles, which is very unusual. Oh, wait, it's that little top-up of armour. That could be just what I needed. Yes, okay, that's exactly what I needed, because I really think you lack the health to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against those bloody sentinel missiles. Okay, code goes in, but the first sentinel missile pops up. Now, I think I should just be able to go in, hit it, and then immediately back off out of its range. I think its range is the same as mine. Yeah, keep the distance. By the miss oh, no, never mind. That missile's fine, though. And that's the Sentinel down. Okay, so Sentinel number one is dead. Next mission, take out Sentinel number two. So all you've got to do, really, is just keep your distance from them. The next one's around a corner, but I think I've got a trick that'll work for that. Just ease forward a little bit. Right, fire missile. Yep, and then just wait for the thing to pop up and fire the missile around the corner. And, oh, I, I went round the I went round the corner way too thick. No, never mind. I went round the corner, and I shouldn't have done, but never mind. We've got plenty of everything. We've got plenty of missiles. We've got almost full health, even though I just wasted my armor. Because apparently the concept of acceleration versus reverse is just too damn confusing for me. Okay, that's a gate open, but can we do the same thing again? Which is, oh, where is it? Oh, oh, yep, yep, yep. Just, 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 just fire everything. Fire everything. Whatever that was. Was that one of them? I don't think that was even one of them. Uh, where's the other one then? No, wait, hang on. Ooh, wait a flipping minute. I just saw something there. Sneaky. That's slightly hidden from... What, what? Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's not a pickup. That's just the edge of the bridge where the thing was. Right, okay, never mind. Now, Sentinel number three will be around bloody here somewhere. Ooh, I don't trust this thing. But all right, I'm guessing we're supposed to go in here first of the angle of the road there. And, yep, two missiles for you. And back forwards again. And two missiles for you. And 
They're dead. Now, where's the third sentinel? Because it's going to be in here somewhere. Oh, I don't trust here at all. Yep. Thought not. Oh, no. No, don't block off the exit. You've blocked off the exit. You utter, utter. Right, just fire everything. Fire everything. Fire everything. Fire everything. And then there were planes. This was the thing the GameCube did weirdly often, by the way. I've seen this before. Like, when the cutscenes were handled using a much lower resolution than the game. The cutscenes are clearly a lower resolution than the actual game is. It's utterly baffling. Why didn't you just use the game engine to do the cutscenes? It was clearly a better quality. All right, so now I'm just in a magic plane. Okay. Blow up a bridge. Seems like a sensible thing to do. Unless I blew up the bridge too. No, I didn't blow up the bridge too soon. Got through. Lovely. So, Sentinel number four needs... Wait, isn't this the Sentinel the whole point of it? They're terrifying anti-air machines. Probably I shouldn't be, like, going up against them in a plane. Surely from the ground is a better option. Right, there's the Sentinel. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Fire, fire the missiles. Fire the missiles. Lovely. I have many rockets, by the way. This is a very slow plane, by the way. I think it's going slower than we were able to go in that damn car. On the right. Oh, dear. One of you. You're insanely terrifying. Good. Ah, a bridge. I know what to do with that. Yep. Blow it up. Oh, we may have a problem here. I'm kind of out of rockets. Uh, let's go over to whatever the hell this thing is. Uh, oh, just a machine gun with 5,000 of everything. Let's just shoot you, whatever you're a plane. Uh, hopefully this is hitting you. Yep, that seems to have done a decent enough job. Oh, we've been shot, but luckily it was in a cutscene, which means it's one of those I'm supposed to lose situations. Beautiful. I love a supposed to lose situation because it's typically a checkpoint. Ah, and now we've got one of these guys on our side. Beautiful. Now, what does it have? It's got main or pulse. What's, what's the difference? We've got loads of pulse, but I'm guessing main is more powerful. Let's just blow up a tank, shall we? I think we're just literally blowing everything up as it happens to come along, though. That we should probably take out some of these planes at the same time. Yep, screw all of you. And screw you. And screw... Oh, never mind. I think we got bombed. Right, let's try that again, but we should prioritise more on the planes. There we are. A couple of planes go down. That's what we wanted. Oh, gotta watch out for the tanks. The tanks are a big deal. Can that ship go down? Yes, we can definitely do something to this ship and probably this guard tower as well. Oh, more, more planes, more planes, more planes. Planes definitely want to go down. Planes are bad. Watch out for a second tank showing up, mines. Right, watch out for the submarine that's going to pop up here. Okay, got it that time. Beautiful. Just had to blow up the submarine. I didn't spot anything in the air that looked like a command center, James. Well, one thing we know about Drake, nothing's as it seems on the surface. Looks abandoned. All the more reason to investigate. Bond, significant portions of Slough look like they're abandoned, but you don't necessarily want to go investigating them. No reception committee. The system's active. We need a comm link. See if you can patch in. Why do I have the feeling we're about to split up again? This shaft's drawing air. I have a good idea why. Inform MI6 of our location. I'll be in touch, Allura. And now we've got a crossbow for some reason. Right, let's check, check, check the weapons because he's useful. PPK can go into silence mode, of course. A delta repeater, which is a crossbow which has no alternative fire. And a frag grenade, together with a remote mine. Okay, fine, which is the alternative fire is detonate, understandably. Right, let's stick with the pistol for now in that case. Alright, drop down. And where are we in here? One bloke. Right, everyone dead, nice and silent. The, bo the exciting bomb music is playing. It shouldn't be. I don't want the exciting bomb music. I want the quiet, stealthy bond music. Bond may have penetrated our security. Lock down the sector at once and deactivate all access codes like my own. Right away, Mr. Ashi. 
What have we got here then? Whole area is locked down, but does that mean it's completely locked? Uh oh. Darn, I do forget that people can see through. Oh no, people can't see through the window. That guy's just an idiot. Right. Kiko is currently in corridor A8. Oh, is Kiko actually moving around? That's kind of cool. If actually she's actually in like an actual proper location. Okay, so there's, there's body armor there, but I don't really need that yet. So remember that for later. Spare body armor in this here room. She's in A8, but if she's actually moving around, so therefore the fight can happen in different places depending on what's going on, that's kind of cool. So that's A6, A4, and this is A5 over here. My question is, do I actually have anything... If I need to, do I have anything better? Yeah, I've got the this old girl, who which is quite a good weapon, lovely. Though I could even I could even blow her up with a mine if I was feeling super fancy. I probably shouldn't. I should probably do things sensibly. Right, let's just wait for the this thing to swing round. Right, back over here, A5. Oh flip, I feel like that's an alarm we're gonna go off in a second. Okay, I feel like we're actually in a bit of an issue right now. Right, let's let let's just get out of here for a second. Let's let them come to me through this nice air door. All right. Yeah, there were more people in this room uh, than I was expecting, but that's fine. I've got that spare body armor. Yeah. Right. What's even left in terms of ammo? Because we don't seem to have much. Careful, James. Those lasers will trigger the alarm. It's a bit late for that, to be honest, Allura. Right, let's just snipe this person with this air crossbow. That's right, you just pop up again in a second if you'd be so kind. Okay, this thing appears to be a bit feeble. You know what? This thing is actually worthless. We're just gonna go over to... We're just gonna go for a bit of a run forward here. Excuse me. I've got a gun now. Yeah, I feel like that works better. Kiko is in corridor A12 now. Oh, she's okay. I'm guessing she's not actually there and she's actually just moving away from me the whole time. But worryingly, that means there is an A12. Uh, means I've got a oh, no, there it is. It's right bloody there. Oh! Excuse- Oi! The problem is it takes me like nine bullets to kill these guys. And then I only get that much ammo from them, which means I'm not actually making a net gain of ammo for any of these fights. Which is a bit of an issue. You're going to come towards me at some point. You know what? I need to make some gains. Bye! How far can I throw a grenade? Reasonably far. And they seem to be quite powerful, which is nice. You know, there's something quite relaxing about having triggered all the alarms already. It means it doesn't really matter if I trigger the alarms anymore. It's lovely. Oh, we're at a time limit. Oh, I didn't know flipping... That, right. Um, A12, A15, A17. Even more flipping armor I don't actually need. An armory that I could hack into, but ooh. That's actually quite clever. It's actually, I'm actually on a time limit because I've got to race flipping Kiko to the command center. Ah. I game. That's bloody clever. And there's an armory here, but getting into it would slow me the hell down. But I feel like I don't even have enough bloody ammo to take on Kiko at the moment, so I kind of bloody have to. So that's actually quite brilliant. Unless, of course, this is all a fake time limit. It might all be completely fake. Oh my goodness. Yes. I think I like this quite a lot. Oh, it's got burst and grenade mode. Oh, it's basically the bloody super dragon. Okay. It's the super dragon. The launch timetable has been moved up. I'm placing the security system into full lockdown. Clear and seal the room. We cannot risk anyone tampering with the control settings. So, new objective, sabotage base security and then escape from the room. James, see if you can find some way to disrupt the base security system. Could that by any chance be done by blowing everything in this room up? Because I'm so good at that. Oh, power safeguard B. Oh no, not this. Anything but this. Right, hang on. Hang on. It's typically shoot the green thing. Don't shoot the red thing. Right, do A first. 
Right. Green thing. That's fine. Uh, where are you going to be coming from, by the way? You're going to be coming from over here? Do I feel like system critical? Oh, yep, it's all blowing up a little bit. Good. Excellent. Oh, this new gun I've got's good. I'd say the armor is well worth bloody going for, by the way. The armor is a very good thing. Yeah, you can run as much as you bloody want, mate. Somehow he's worked his way into the complex. The elite guards will hold the line. I'm going below to cut the power so he can't follow. But if Bond does reach the facility, I'll be sure to thank him for the makeover he gave. I don't even remember shooting that guy, but all right. So I think we're fighting our way back through the level now, back to those big old red doors we saw earlier. Don't know how the bloody hell those were, actually. But yeah, there's definitely new elite guards spawned here. So that makes me feel like I'm going the right bloody way. Oh, hello, you've got a big old laser. I don't even remember killing you, by the way. Did I shoot you at some point? I'm sorry if I did. I didn't even flip a mean to. I mean, whatever I did to you, it seems to have added quite a bit to your flipping health. Just need to kill you first. Are you dead yet? Yes, he's dead. Lovely. What do I get? I get a Phoenix Samurai. I don't even know what that is, but I want it because it does a big whooshy thing. Lovely. Let's go forward, shall we? Where did I kill that guy? I mean, I remember him showing me in the cutscene of the nuclear power plant snipey level, but I don't actually remember ever shooting him. Maybe I was supposed to shoot him. Maybe I was supposed to have shot him with that laser, which is why he's burned, but I didn't actually shoot him with the laser, so never mind, eh? Oh, I like this new laser thing. This basically is it's pretty much a one-hit kill against these guards, which is lovely. And then it just cools down again after it's done. Very, very nice. Well, much running around a silo later, I've found my way to a door that's flashing. Unless there's Omega Sector. But walking through it just leads to this brick wall that doesn't... Oh, it did something that time. Interesting. Right, that... <laughs> I just walked up to that before and it didn't bloody do anything. Fine. So, next. Prevent Kiko from launching it. What have we got against Kiko going into space? I'm on Earth. She can be in space. We can just avoid My each other. It's fine. Associates. It's time to unveil the final stages of Operation Nightfire. The utter transformation of the planet you'll soon view from your shuttle windows. The communists, socialists, and fascists were predestined to fail in their efforts at globalization. The answer is sublimely simple. A corporate takeover by Phoenix International on a worldwide scale. No more national boundaries, but countries-wide regions of agriculture, industry, chemical production, and research. Quarreling governments are replaced with a single board of directors. Of course, a new order will be resisted. But we have the ultimate leverage. The nuclear missiles mounted in our island grottos and controlled from an unassailable command center. The U.S. Space Defense Platform. Unfortunately, our security has been temporarily breached. Therefore, I've advanced our launch schedule. All flight crews and combat units are to board their shuttles at once and prepare for liftoff. Operation Nightfire has begun. Right, so there then we have the details of Operation Nightfire. He's going to just go and live in a space platform and replace literally every government in the world with a board of directors. Which means this man has never clearly sat in a meeting with a board of directors because those guys can bloody disagree just as much as anyone else can. Okay, head into the room. There's a staircase right here. Then we just head up as quickly as possible and take out all of these guys. Just, just burst fire as much as we can. Uh, yep, you're going to go down too. You're going to go down. Oh, that's... This is actually quite a lot of guys. And then you're dead. Who else is left? We might have actually done a pretty good job there. Hopefully there might be some more body armor in here. Yes, there is. Beautiful. And that means I can crack open the door. Door unlocked. Beautiful. I feel like there's going to be still one downstairs, mind. Hello. Onwards we go. Oh, hello. More secu Would you believe they're guarding the space shuttle that leads up to their base quite a lot? Dear, oh dear. All right, objective complete. What do you need me to do now, Because eh? I've got a few things around here. Prevent Kiko from going to space. Because I just want to stamp on her dreams a little bit. Warning. Don't press this button. Got it. Oh, hello, Kiko. 
Oh. Wait. I'm guessing that was a bad... Okay, I just got completely outsmarted by Kiko then. Fine, I don't want to be here. This is a bad place. Lift off in 20 seconds. Uh, Alright, don't want to be here, don't want to be here, don't want to be here. How do I get... Is there a grapple or something I can use to get up out of this? Can I break into that? No! I don't see a grapple... Oh, darn. I'm about to fry. Okay. Back down here again. We need to get out of... Oh. There's just a flipping safe room. Right. Well, that's bloody convenient. We can just... Can we just hide in here? Buttons. 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 Oh, it's closing by itself. Right. Okay. It just needs to run into the safe room. Fine. Well, that, that makes life much, much easier. All right. There we are. Shuttle launches, but I don't appear to be dead. Excellent news. I'm guessing we're going to have a fight with Kiko down here then. Oh, oh no, we've got something though. Oh, we got, we got those bloody assassins. Bloody assassins. Um, oi, go, go away. Go away. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, those bloody guys are tough. Right, okay. And just hide on here for a sec. Oi, stop shooting me, you get. Right, where's the next safe room? If there is one. Yes, more armor, more armor, more armor. That's exactly what I need. Beautiful, lovely big pile of armor. Be ready with the grenade. Oh, hello. Who's here? 30 seconds to go. I'm guessing I have to hold out a little bit longer yet. But I've got loads of grenades. So we'll be fine. Yep, there we are. This thing closes off again. We're safe once again. Another big pile of ammo. Another one goes off. We've got armor, but very little health. So we've got to be a little careful here. I guess we've got one more fight to go yet. Okay, now this time though, we got that bloody assassin down in a hurry. Right, all of you guys are dead. You're going up. We're going... Oh, we're just going after you in a cutscene. Good. Wait a sec. Oh, oh, oh. The button that she did to me. She already did the button. Do the same thing she did to me. Yeah, you can make that face. You actually did the same trick to me a second ago. I just need to push the button to flipping... Yeah, there you are. Mission complete. And you are now going to... Well, you're going to fall into an area where there's flipping two... Safe rooms. We established there were safe rooms. You could just go into the... Oh, dear. Oh, she knows about the safe... Oh, that's that's a cute touch. She actually knew about the safe rooms. And there's a reason why she did... Oh, she's on fire. James, I'm losing your signal. Are you all right? I did not possibly have time to go out on that shuttle, but whatever. And I suppose it feels suitably bondy to go off into space for the finale. You're on a fool's errand, Mr. Bond. I've just locked the launch sequence. Nothing can stop Operation Nightfire. Not even my own death. That's a theory I mean to test. <laughs> You've already failed miserably. But tinker with my missiles if you must. Make a splendid target for my laser cannons. James, the missiles. You won't be able to disarm the warheads in time. Your only hope is to sabotage the launch system in some way. You'll have to disable them manually. Each launch gantry has a weak coupling that you can melt with your laser. Okay, so we're actually... Oh, we're outside in space! That's cool! And there's even flipping astronauts with lasers coming after me. Screw you. Right, okay, so what I've got to do, basically, is... Yeah, survive against the waves of enemies... While simultaneously being prepared to... Oh, Flip, are you guys dead or not? Uh, wait, hang on. How do I... What is it? Oh, not my not my l normal laser. You mean this laser. Right. I see. Ah, but by doing that, I'm over here. So basically, I'm using nothing but my laser th in this case. All right. You. And you. And... You need to go down as well. Ooh, slow jumpy, slow jumpy, slow jumpy, low gravity. I like low gravity. Right, take you out. Oh, flipping heck. Need to destroy faster. 
Oh, I think I'm... I think the world might have just blown up. Okay. The two guys that come out, dead. First missile comes out. I'm guessing I need to keep doing until it flashes. Oh! Oi! Okay, that's now taken out. Okay, I see. Okay, three people now coming in. And... Number two. Number three. That laser does bad things. That one... Num oh, that one number two happens. And now... Three shot should do it. Yes. Okay, you're sending more guys after me. And they're all dead, so that's all fine. Ouch! Ow, 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 ow. I need to be a bit bloody careful here. Something's shooting at me. Possibly that bloody laser. Um, oh, gosh darn. Right. Take out at least two of you now. Uh, oh, darn. Missed. Never mind. We'll just need to take out the shot and... One, two, three. Yep, fine. We got two more coming in. We got guys. Oh, flip. Did one of you just fire? I hope not. One, two, three. And the next one is one, two, one, two, three. Yes, taken care of. We're in a bit of trouble here regarding the number of flipping guys who are now trying to murder me. Okay, we got three missiles to take out. None of them are quite available yet, so we can spare a moment on these guys. Right, that's two of you guys dead. What? Okay, one, two, three. Dead. We got two more missiles over here. And I don't see any way of speeding up, unfortunately. Which is unfortunate. Tricky. Oh, come on. Come on. What? One, two, three. Three. One last missile. One last missile. Come on. One. Two. Three. Kaboom. And quite a lot of astronauts trying to murder me right now. I should probably take care of them. What do you want me to do? Just get away from the laser? I'm guessing I should just probably not be near to the laser right now. Objective complete. Let's just float in this direction. Flip. Float. Float. Defeat Drake. Well, I feel like he's pretty much defeating himself here. Oh, no. Now, what exactly is up next? We've destroyed all the things. We did this last time. Drake's lost control of it. It could blow any second. Well, that's good. That's fine. He's standing directly underneath it. Oh, wait. I think I see it. Wait, was that? Where's he gone? He was there. Oh, yeah, I see ya, I see ya, I see ya. That's him right there, he's trying to blow me up with missiles, but I've got lasers. And I think he's looking pretty dead to me. Is that it? So long, Drake. Your horrific nightmare of a nuclear-free world has been dealt with. Now everyone shall have nukes. Hooray! That was all he wanted to do. Then. That was all he wanted to do, by the way. He did say he wasn't aiming at big civilian centers or governments. He said he was aiming at nuclear platforms. He was trying to destroy all of the nuclear platforms on Earth. If we'd have actually let him do that and then destroyed the station, we'd have actually officially wiped out nuclear weapons. Bond is the real villain here. Shaken, not stirred. Or is it stirred, not shaken? I feel like we've stepped forward a little bit here. Yep, there we are. Definitely stirred. Uh, weren't you supposed to be, like, you know, grieving for your great lost love, Dominique, or any chance did you get over that in two days? We'll let the autopilot be our designated driver. Oh, James. Subtle. Subtle in the background there, game. Subtle. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of James Bond 007 Nightfire. All right. You were all right. That was a very good game. Is it better than Agent Under Fire? I would say it probably is. Yeah. And that's because the core of the Bond game, both Agent Under Fire and Nightfire, is the core shooting mechanics. And the shooting and the level design and the guns and controls in general are superior in Nightfire than they are in Agent Under Fire. I will say, however, that I think the driving sections 
are better in Agent Under Fire than here, but there's a lot kind of fewer of them here. Turret sections are weak in both games, but they're kind of the filler levels anyway. They weren't the best bit of Agent Under Fire, they weren't the best bit of Night Fire. But arguably, maybe... Ooh, actually, I don't know. No, I'd say the turret sections were actually probably better in Agent Under Fire, but in both cases they weren't the strongest bit. But yeah, Agent Under Fire's got the better driving, but this game's got the better shooting and it does the majority of the shooting. It's also got a better ending. That kind of ending up on top of the platform is actually pretty good, whereas the final level in Agent Under Fire, where you have to storm the mountaintop summit, is nowhere near as good. But yes, thank you for this recommendation. Thank you for everyone who said when I did Agent Under Fire, I should give Night Fire a go. This has been a very fun little mini-series to put together. I do hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope that this has kind of awoken a bit of nostalgia in a few of you. It certainly seems like a lot of people have some very fond memories of Nightfire, so I hope I've at least done it a little bit of justice. So there you are, ladies and gentlemen. That's Nightfire. Very, very good game. And I've got some more first-person shooter stuff planned, by the way. In fact, coming up soon, over the next couple of weeks at some point or other, brand new series, slightly bigger series than this one, not a mini-series, it'll be a proper kind of bigger series. I'm going to be playing what I think is the best first person shooter ever made. I'm not going to say what it is yet, but coming up in the next few weeks, a brand new full series of the best first person shooter ever made. And I think at least a fair few of you will agree with me when I show you what that is. So that's coming up soon. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And as the credits roll, this has indeed been 007 Nightfire. Thank you very much and goodbye. Here, have a hat. Oh, you don't have a head. I'm sorry. That was really insensitive of me. Oh, I don't want to interface with whatever this is, but all right. Oh, God, he's running Windows 8. No bloody wonder it's all gone tits up. Fire extinguisher, if it's a choice between you and me, I'm afraid I'm sacrificing you just FYI.